Hello, in this video we are going to make the beaker. So this guy here, and it might be a couple of videos for this one. Um, so let's create a polygon sphere, and we're gonna bring it up. I use my front side just to get these positions right, scale it down. So something like this. And then I'm going to look at my reference here. So, so I'm looking at that size, that size, maybe probably a little smaller than this. So something like this probably. The side. And let's look at the perspective. And take some time on this to get it in the right place. Remember, hit three. So you'll see there's a space here. Um, what, can I, what I can do is I'm going to select this top arrow in my move, uh, my move tool, and then hold down middle mouse and move down. Because I don't have to actually be seeing the move tool to move it when I select it like that use middle mouse okay so that's good and I'm gonna leave it directly up and down model it that way so this part will be going straight up and let's start so let's go over and over here so the annoying part about spheres is the this thing here um, this should probably start between those two and a little bit bigger than that like this and then I'm going to select that vertice and hit control F11 that converts my selection to a the faces and I'm just gonna grow my selection by hitting shift greater than. So taking some time to get used to those selection tools is not a waste of time. As you can see, it saves you time. In the long run, I use that quite a bit. Those hotkeys. And then I'm moving this up. I'll be looking like that. This I might move up a bit. I put my reference on pure off just because I was getting annoyed with having to go back and forth. I just want to see it while I'm working. Just a reminder that pure ref is free. Um, but donate if you can, because he is a pretty sweet tool. Let's scale this down a bit. Trying to get that spot thing looking close to my reference. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm gonna delete this end just because I don't think I'll be able to get what I want with all that geometry. I'm just gonna extrude the outside edge. Scale out, okay, move it up, scale it out. Okay, so like that, G, okay, so maybe I'll, maybe I don't need that last one, 
Okay. So now I'm just going to bevel these things and shape it a bit more. Get some edge loops here, scale it up, so it rounds it out a bit, and then I'll do another one of those bevels. One, two, like that. select all these. I need to move them up a bit. So I think that's pretty close. Um, I think that's good. I'm going to do edit the thickness in the next video.